<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the ACE online courses. Today is the last course. I'm today's host, Lei. Our training will start soon. I hope everyone has already signed in. If you haven't, please scan the QR code or click the link in the chat room to sign in. If you can't click the link, please copy or pass it to your browser. Before starting the course, I would like to remind four points about the exam that you must you may much concern about. The first is the NCE exam time is November 10th, next to Tuesday. It, as you can see on the presentation, uh, it has two time slots, the UTC GMT plus eight. Uh, we have two time slots, uh, 15, 1530 uh, to 1630. And another, the other time is uh, 2330 uh, to, to, the, to the next day, uh, 030. So uh, you can check it uh, about your own time slots in your country. Okay, this is the first point. The second point is the exam format is to answer the question online. We will hold it two times slots and announce the exam link in the next Zoom webinar. Okay, the third point is the exam have multiple choice questions and true and false questions. And all the content is from the past seven courses. And number four, is examination results and certificates will be issued around one week after the examination. Okay, next, let's go back to today's course. The topic of today's training is troubleshooting, different brightness issue. I hope that uh, those who have not signed in, please complete the sign in as soon as possible. During the training, if you have any further questions, please feel free to leave a message in the chat room. So now let's welcome Aurian. He is today's trainer. Welcome. Hello everyone, I'm Aurian from North Star. Welcome. So it has been uh, it has been five months since the uh, last NC training. And during the period, we have received many mails from our customers asking for news about the second online NCE NC training. So now we are back. Thanks to the friends who have always supported North Star. So thank you. I'd like to start with a short introduction of NC training to the guys who are not much familiar. So the full name of NCE is North Star Certified, Certified Engineer. We have trained more than 3,000 individuals all over the world since it started in 2014. So by giving multiple courses and valuable chances to embrace the LD control system. So NCE course, enable you to operate and, uh, and maintain their equipment independently. So because of the special situation, this year we hold the training online. We are hoping more technique could get the knowledge and the certification, even in the hard time. So this term, we will have seven courses and a final examination. You could get online training certification if you sign for six courses at least and pass the final exam, I hope you guys can go to all courses to make a good score. Okay, uh, before we start today's topic, let's go back to review last courses content screen blackout. So when we encounter the blackout issue, we may say this situation. The first one is whole screen is black. The second one is part of the screen is black, including specific cabinet or module is black. 
our sending card output area is black. So actually for the first situation, uh, for screen blackout, we can check screen power. Maybe the screen power is turned off. So you don't think it's funny. We, all, we, we already met this problem many times. So and next, we also can check the brightness value. Maybe the software or controller set up the brightness is zero. And we also can check the ethernet cable to confirm the cable connection is stable or not. And another reason maybe we need to confirm the working status of the sending card and whether the controller detects the video source input or normally. And for receiving card, working status is normal or not. Okay, and for the second situation, part of the screen blackout. So actually, there are three points we need to check. The first one is sending card output level. So maybe we can check the screen power to check the screen power is working normal or not. And uh, next, we also can check the Ethernet cable. Uh, because maybe the Ethernet cable connection is not very stable. And last, we can check the sending card. Yeah, because maybe the sending card is working status is abnormal. And for second point is cabinet level. For cabinet level, we also need to check the power supply to check the cabinet power supply. And we also need to check the Ethernet cable to confirm the Ethernet cable connection is stable. And the receiving card, we need to check the status of receiving card, also the hub board. And the first third point is module level, is module level. So we also need to check the power supply for module. And also the hub board, the hub board is work normally or not. And lastly, it's flat cable. So above the content is for the screen blackout and how to deal with it. Okay, do you remember the the second the second problem is is flickering issue. So actually, uh, is there a flickering cabinet on your screen? So what's the possible reason? Do you remember? Yeah, it's first is receiving card. Also maybe sending card. Also maybe it's in a cable or port. Maybe it's power supply or maybe it's a video source, or flat cable, or firmware, or hardboard, or video cable, even, it's even the interface, RCFG file, and model hardware. So all of them, this reason will cause the flickering issue. So how we can we dissolve it? We can use our software, LCT. So actually, it's a really user function is screen control. So with this function, you, you can to detect, so where is the problem? We can check the receiving card itself. And with the test tool, we can detect the video source to confirm the video source is, is okay or not. And for screen flickering, so actually there's two situations. First is flickering position randomly or for screen flickering and we can use a screen control to locate this issue. And for second situation, its flickering position is fixed on the screen. And for flickering position is fixed on the screen, maybe the problem is from sending card output port, or maybe it's from the cabinet. So in other words, it's receiving card. And for another, it's, maybe it's from module. So we have to check these three situations. So okay, above the content is uh yeah, it's our review, the last courses. Now let's start the today. We will spend one hour together. And during this time, I will show you the troubleshooting different brightness issue. And we also have a QA time after my presentation. So you can post your question on chat area and our experienced engineer will answer your question. Okay, now let's start. Uh, first, let's check this 
two pictures. So what's wrong with these two pictures? Left picture. Let's check the left picture. Obviously, the brightness of left side is different from other parts. And the right picture, some candidate's brightness is different from other parts. So actually, these are two situations that we encounter more often. So why does the screen count this problem? <clears throat> yeah, here are the possible reasons for different brightness. The first one is different brightness mode. Actually, as we all know, our newest Warren software, LCT, now can support two brightness mode. One is grayscale mode, and another one is contrast mode. So actually, these two different modes will cause the different brightness for cabinets. And second, uh, and second possible reason is different RCFGX file. So actually, as we all know, if we want to let our cabinet work normally, we have to use the correct RCFG file. So that is mean if your cabinet is working with different RCFG file, and the different RCFG file will cause a different brightness. So, and the third possible reason is different forward. <coughs> so of course, as we all know, for one LED screen, all the cabinets should work with the same firmware. But maybe sometimes it's not. The cabinet, some cabinet working with a different firmware. So of course the different firmware will cause the different brightness. So this is a third, a third possible reason, the same cabinet with different firmware. And for the fourth possible reason is calibration coefficient. And some cabinets have open calibration, calibration coefficients, and some cabinets are not. So of course, if we enable the calibration effect, maybe the brightness should be lower. So this is the first possible reason is calibration coefficients. And the next possible reason is power supply. And maybe the power supply with different output yeah, of course, as we all know, for one screen, we need to provide the same voltage for all cabinets. But sometimes, some cabinets working with a different voltage. So of course, the brightness, it should be different from others' cabinets. So and the last possible reason is multiple batches. <coughs> screen with multiple batches modules so this puzzle, this reason also will cause the different brightness problem. So okay, now we already clearly about the possible reason and the next step, how to deal with them, how to solve this problem. Now I will introduce one by one. Okay, first for grayscale mode and contrast mode. Uh, as we all know, the brightness information is always saved into the receiving card. You have to remember. You have to remember the brightness information is saved into the receiving card. And our new LCD software version can support two different brightness adjustment mode is grayscale first or contrast first. So we need to manually adjust the brightness first to make sure the receiving card is under the same brightness level. Then we select one of the working mode to make sure they work under the same working mode. Then don't forget, don't forget, send and save it to hardware. Okay, now I have a question. So the question is, where do we save the brightness parameter? In sending card controller, please type one. In receiving card, please type two. Please type your answer in chat area. We will give out the answer during Q8 session. Okay, now let's check the possible reason. Possible reason two is different RCFG file on the screen. So actually, the different RCFG file could be a very common reason. A different RCFGX file 
the parameters is a little bit different and it may affect the brightness efficiency. Here, one point thing we need to remember. So actually, the performance of driver I say is limited. So if we just, if we are just one parameter, another parameter will be changed. For instance, this is a common shape. It's a common shape. If we turn down the refresh rate, we can get higher brightness efficiency. Let's do it again. If we turn down, yeah, if we, if we, if we turn down the refresh rate, the brightness efficiency will be high. Yeah. So for this cabinet, for this cabinet, refresh rate and refresh rate times and shift clock frequency, all these three parameters will affect brightness efficiency. So for different RCFG fire problem, what we will to do, what we have to do, yes, we just read back the correct parameters from a normal receiving card. Then so send it to those abnormal receiving card will be okay. Yeah, the option is really, yeah, it's really simple. So for example, for this screen, first two columns have different RCFG X file from other columns. So we just need to read the correct RCFGX file from other columns. Then send the correct RCFGX file parameters to the first columns cabinet will be okay. And remember all of these options will be done on receiving card interface on LCT software. Okay. Another question. The question, the question is, after sending RCFGX file to all the receiving card and, and problem solved, so what is the next step? Turn off and turn on the screen to check whether all the cabinets have seen brightness or not, please type one. Click save to hardware before turning off and on the screen, please type two. Okay, you can type your answer in chat area. And for third possible reason, is same cabinets with different firmware. Okay, actually the different firmware may also cause the different brightness issue. So because the instruction in different firmware may be different. So we need to find the correct firmware you can check with your screen supplier or North Star surveys, and we can try to help you find the corresponding firmware version, especially if it's a customized firmware. We also can help you to find it. And then you just need to upgrade the correct firmware to the receiving card, which are different brightness. Then confirm all the receiving card works with the same firmware will be okay. Okay, so this is for the possible reason three. Okay, another question. I'm sorry, yeah, there are so much, uh, so much question. Uh, the question is RCFGX file and firmware program. So which is more important? Your idea, okay. So RCFG file, please type one. Firmware program, please type two. Both of them, please type three. Okay, please type your answer in chat area, okay? Okay, now let's go on. Um, for the possible reason four, some cabinets had open calibration coefficient, some are not. So do you still remember that the calibration coefficient is saved into the receiving card, right? So for this problem, as this picture show, as this picture show, it could be that some of the cabinets enable the calibration effect and some are not. So actually for cabinet different brightness, a lot of reason will cause this problem. 
maybe this racing car lost its calibration coefficients or the racing car is new replacement without calibration coefficients. So when we encounter this problem, what can we do next? Yeah, first, we can just manually to enable the calibration again. And uh, to make sure all cabinet already enable the calibration effect and to confirm the brightness keep the same. And for second, if some cabinet still have no calibration effect, it could be lost the calibration coefficients. Then we need to upload the calibration database from them. So do you remember where can you reload the calibration database? Yes, on LCT and calibration and manage coefficients. So sometimes if you don't have the database, yeah, maybe your, uh, your LD screen already working very, very long time. You already lost the database. How can we do? Yeah, we have, we need to recalibrate it, right? And auto way is with camera or with the no RCT adjust coefficient function. We mentioned before, we mentioned before, Okay, uh, if you want to know more information of calibration coefficient management, you can find more videos on 3w.nuance.tech. And the path is North Star and training and North Star online workshops. Okay, now let's go on the possible reason uh, five is power supply. Sometimes the issue may not come from the control system part. Yeah, of course, cannot always from the control system, right? So such as the power supply. Sometimes when the power supply output is not strong, we are cause the LD not have enough driver current. So and the cabinet or one part on the screen showing different brightness with others. So how can we solve it? We need to check the power supply whether it's normal for all the cabinets with a multimeter. If not, you may need to replace a good PSU, right? Okay, and how to know about the value correct or not? Please ask LD manufacturer because LD manufacturer is most familiar with these cabinets. Of course, they should know the power supply, the power supply voltage for, for, for each cabinet. Okay, another question is coming, is question four. What is the standard operating voltage? Three voltage, please type one, five, please type two, and 12, please type three. Please type the answer in chat area, okay? Okay, the next possible reason is the screen with multiple batches models. Okay, the last possible reason, yeah. If the screen is from different batch, then it is for sure that you have the different brightness. Multiple batches means the lamp or the models manufacturing at different time. So the LED lamp has a different wavelengths and brightness will cause the screen looks different. We can improve the effect, but cannot totally solve it. Okay, let's check these two pictures. Top one looks brighter, but bottom one looks is darker. So if we want to install them together as one screen, of course, we will say the difference when it works, right? So actually the different batches problem is hard to be fixed, but we can try to improve the screen effect. We can use our LCT software with multiple batch adjustment, uh, with the multi-batch adjustment function, always adjust coefficient function, observe and adjust it. 
Okay, uh, if you want to know more information on multiple batch adjustment, you can find more videos on 3w.nuanstar.tech. Support, support and training and Nuanstar online workshops. Okay, uh, after we checked all these possible reasons, I'm pretty sure the issue will be fixed. So, okay, let's review all of these possible reasons. The first one is different brightness mode. The second one is different RCFJX file. The third one is different firmware. The fourth one is calibration coefficient. Fifth is power supply. The last one is multiple batches. So I hope you can fix up different brightness problem faster through this course. Okay, so this is all the presentation today. Uh, uh, thank you for your attention. So please scan the QR code or click this link at the message zone to fill up the feedback. And we will record a video to the session. You can get a video link after this chain, or you can follow Noastar YouTube channel to watch this video. If you have any further question, please feel free to contact us at nce at noastar.tech. Okay, now let's move on to the query session.